This tutorial on settings will cover only the first five items, visibility, timing, grade, layout, and question behavior. The visibility option at the top of the settings simply allows you to either show it on the course page or hide it from students. I will choose timing right out of the gate, and on timing I'll have to choose enable, and then on close quiz I'll hit enable. I'll need to set up these dates real quickly and I'll point out that this is the 18th of July 2019. It is of course crucial, those are correct. I will also point out that right here we have military time, so we can choose between 1 and 23. And it turns out that I'd like this to open up at 8 in the morning, so I choose 08. And I would like it to actually be at the beginning of the hour. Top of the hour is when that's going to happen. I need to choose closed quiz in order to make it work properly with Moodle. It will be live for two days. I'm going to have it close near midnight on that day. So I'm going to come over here, military time, and I'm going to choose 2300 hours. And I'm going to choose 59. It turns out that I feel my class will do better if they're confined to a period of time to do this. And I'm going to set a time limit. So I'll hit enable and I'll say I would like this done within 59 minutes. Since I've given them 59 minutes, there's a chance that they may not finish before that 59 minutes is up. And then I have some options to do when time expires. There are three options. Open attempts are submitted automatically. So as that time expires, their attempt is submitted and they can do no more with it. Or there's a grace period when an open attempt can be submitted, but they can't answer more questions after that time has elapsed. And then lastly, attempts have to be submitted before the time expires or they're not counted. And clearly the selection is up to the instructor. If one indicates there will be a grace period, they can then determine how long that grace period will be themselves. And those are the basics of timing. So now we'll take a look at the drop down in the settings for grade. And you'll notice the category. I have no categories. That's set up in gradebook and is another topic for another course. The grade to pass. This becomes important if I have made it an automated function that a student can't progress until they pass a given quiz or test. Otherwise, it's not crucial. It's important that you do set attempts allowed. The default is unlimited. However, if it's one, you'll notice the grading method is dimmed out there because there doesn't have to be a method. If, however, I allow them to try three times, I have several options that are self-explanatory. Highest, average, first attempt, or last. And now we'll glance quickly at layout options, which are also fairly self-evident. If you imagine a quiz that has many questions on a single frame, clearly you can see how that sets up. However, if you'd like them to finish a single question and then move on to the next frame, you can have that set to every question, whatever your preference is. And then looking quickly at question behavior, you can see that this will shuffle within the questions. I strongly recommend you don't choose that. If you have, for instance, a question that asks uh, how many francs are being used in this part of a Jane Austen tale, we can see that those should be set up some in some kind of sequence so that's logical for the student to be able to choose the right one. This next section is rather important if you've taken time to put in feedback. If you've chosen to use feedback, you can see there are several options in terms of how it behaves. I'll go through these rapidly. There are seven choices. Adaptive mode and adaptive mode with no penalties can be chosen if you've given students the option of using multiple attempts per question. Deferred feedback means that students won't get any feedback at all or grade until the entire quiz is complete. The two sections that have CBM at the end, deferred feedback with CBM and immediate feedback with CBM is certainty-based marking. This is a relatively advanced feature. If an instructor is using that and needs assistance, they should reach out to us. Immediate feedback provides that feedback in real time, but doesn't provide the opportunity to revisit the question. And instructors who choose interactive with multiple tries have set up basically in their feedback loop a series of hints to encourage the student to get the correct answer. The balance of these options will be discussed in a separate unit. 